made my whole life to, to go to the Olympics and to try win a medal for the country. Um, hasn't quite happened the medal part of it yet, um, but we've got a chance this year in Tokyo to do that. The first time I remember watching hockey was on TV. I remember watching the Commonwealth Games in 1994. I was four years old and I remember watching thinking I'd love to be there one day. Um, and that was sort of the first time I remember maybe becoming a black stick one day. My dad was actually the first person I saw play hockey and, and he got me into the game and he was also my coach right from when I was five years old through to maybe 15 years old. He was my rep level coach. A big reason why where I am today. He, he pushed me to be a good hockey player and, and to thrive and be the best I can be at the game. Shot bro, we thought you were like a New Zealand player or something. Have a shot bro. I remember it was in Sydney versus Australia in my second match. Um, it was a, quite a surprise that I was actually playing in the game. I uh, got flown over from New Zealand the day before. Um, didn't know what I was really doing and was a bit overwhelmed. Um, and ended up getting a little bit of a tap in um, that Simon Child set up. Yeah, so I got some bad news after uh, the 2012 Olympics. Long story short, taking some cartilage out of the knee. Um, that process took two and a half years to get back to hockey and so I just managed to scrape into the team before Rio um, and come back and, and was able to make the team again and be physically fit. And then since then the exact same problem happened on the right knee two years ago. So when you can't run or walk without pain, um, it's really hard to see the end where you, you see yourself running on the field with you know, these awesome athletes that are out there. Um, there's a good vibe going around the team. We're all good mates, been together for five, ten years. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a good chance to do something special with the team. I think the main thing is just the behaviours that you get from being in a high performance environment. Um, if you transfer them to, to anything in life, it, I think you'll do well. And, and probably the biggest thing sort of for me as well, because it relates really well to real estate, is that competition. Um, so, you know, we're taught to compete every day um, and in real estate you have to compete with other people and, and I think that just correlates really well.